Hey guys, it's me Destiny and today's video is a really quick, easy look that really light but really intense on the eye area drama. We have some blue, some purple, some corner eyelashes, a really pretty brush, bronzer, and a nude lip gloss. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is a really easy look. Basically, I'm just going to take some NYX Jumbo um, eye pencil in milk and put it all over my eyelid. And I'm going to keep it on my eyelid and not bring it into my crease. This look is directly on the eyelid and no more. Be careful not to put too much milk or it can make your eyeshadow crease. Okay, and then I am going to take Maybelline Eyeshadow in Emerald Shimmer, it's number 160, and a flat eyeshadow brush, and press it all over my eyelid. I'm going to wing it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to take a little crease brush and just softly blend out any harsh lines while still keeping it very, very isolated to my eyelid only. Blending it out a little bit. Definitely bring some into the tear duct and to some to the bottom lash line. Next, we're going to take our jumbo eye pencil, put some on our bottom lash line. Take a tiny pencil brush, blend it out. And then with that same tiny pencil brush, we're going to pick up some of our emerald eyeshadow, tap off any excess so not to irritate your eyes. I just press it along the milk. Okay. Then, if you have any cleanup, I'm going to take a nice angle brush. Brush any fallout away. Clean it up with your finger. Next, we're going to do our liner. And for the bottom waterline, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Professional in number... 11L and just do my waterline. If you have very, very sensitive eyes or if you just have a hard time wearing color on your waterline, I say you can just do it on your lash line. Next, I'm going to take this bluish purple from my LA Colors palette. The name of the palette is Ocean Breeze. I'm going to take that bluish purple on the skinny brush and blend all the colors on the bottom together. The next step is to line your top lash line. And I'm going to be using Hip Cream uh, Truth Liner and Eggplant. And I'm going to take down a really skinny flat liner brush and line my top lash line. Then I'm going to take my pencil brush, take some purple, and smudge it up. Next, I am going to take LA Splash Color Liner in Perfect Storm and, line, and put some on my bottom lash line, my bottom eyelash. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the eyes. Um, I went in and did my other eye. I did the blue eyeshadow, then the purple and blue liner and eyeshadow setting. Then I did the eggplant liner. Now I'm going to put some blue mascara all over my natural eyelashes because I'm going to add some um, 
three quarter fall sleeves from Sonia Kashuk. If you choose to just wear your natural eyelashes, this is a good look to do that with because it's more about just the eye itself and not so much the lashes, although they are blue. You can definitely leave it like this. I have such short eyelashes, I'm just like, ugh. I have to amp it up. Amp it up, amp it up. Okay. So, you ordinarily wouldn't um, do your mascara first, but these are the lashes I'm going to be using. They're really cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw them up there. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what's on the rest of my face because it was a little bit of a, um, a, a very particular layering that I did to get this type of uh, selective highlighting. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it looks pretty cute. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for the look. I added the eyelashes, as you can see. They're very, very subtle. They add just a little bit of a cat eye effect because they're tapered. They're very cute and very subtle. On the rest of my face, I'm actually using Makeup Forever HD in number 130. On top of that, I'm using Makeup Forever Duo Matte for a little extra coverage and to kind of mattify my makeup. Then, to highlight my face, I use CoverGirl True Blend Minerals in number 420, and it's called um, Translucent Honey. I use that in the inner. And then on top of that, I use a little bit of ID Bare Minerals and Flawless Radiance. On my cheeks, I use one of my favorite blushes, the Holy Grail Blush that looks great on everybody. Lorac Blush in Hollywood. It's a really pretty rough color. And as you can see, I use it right on the apples of my cheeks. And then I highlight it with a little bit of the Flawless Radiance from ID Bare Minerals. And on my lips, I use uh, Revlon Beyond Natural cream lip gloss and the color is deep spice and I like it because it's a really pretty nude it's not so super nude where it looks almost like you're dead or dying or dead or dying <laughs> and that is pretty much it for the look I hope you liked it I hope it was nice and simple I hope using the zoom in zoom out feature uh, helps you to be able to see more what I'm doing and I think this is a really really cute look I think it's really pretty without being too dramatic and I hope you enjoyed it so I will be in touch hopefully you'll do the same bye guys thanks for watching